this CAD clip we're going to give you a overview um, of the Revit stair by component. We're using Revit 2014, the kind of the composite suite of all disciplines. Um, Revit uh, stairs changed um, uh, drastically in 2013. We never did kind of a, a localized mini series on that one topic, so we're going to take the opportunity to do it now. So some of this stuff was new in 2013, most of it, and 2014 added a couple of new features to stairs. So we're going to talk about stair by component uh, here. So I'm going to just, on my recent files, I'm going to click on my architectural template, start up. All I'm going to do is draw a couple of walls and give you a bit of an overview of placing the new stair by component. So I'm going to go on my level one, I'm going to draw a wall, and inside of there I'm just going to use a generic wall. We always want to look at our options bar here, so I'm going to say OK, a depth, oh not depth, sorry, height of up to level two. Okay, I'm getting some little errors because I'm being a bit careless on that. Uh, wall location line, I want finish face uh, interior. I'm going to turn my chain on, I'm not going to have any plan offset, I'm not going to radius my corners. Okay, so always we always glance across here and we can pick our wall type over here. So I'm just going to use a straight segment, zoom in here a little bit. Sometimes you have to kind of middle mouse inside of here to make it your active window. And I'm just going to pick over here. So I have some basic walls that go up to level 2. So now I'm just going to click the stair uh, tool and we'll see there's a little drop down, stair by component. Okay, this one is the old type stairs up to 2012 of Revit and we have lots of um, lessons on stairs. You can go to our uh, webpage at cadclips.com and do a search on the Revit page for stairs or stair and you'll get all kinds of lessons. So this is the new stuff inside of here, stair by component. First thing you'll notice is you kind of go into sketch mode and we have different, we have a stair, a run, we have landings, you can draw them separately or have them created automatically and then we have the supports which are kind of the stringers that follow the outside but they don't have to be on the outside and you can use a C channel or a, or a, a rectangle or different profiles. Okay. Then you can create, you know, straight, um, two different types of spiral stairs and then you've got a winder stair and a U-shaped winder which I don't, they're a little bit tricky so we're going to kind of just focus on using this guy over here and from there we can start to draw our stair. Now the main thing is, and it's remembering my last uh, numbers here, the first thing you want to check here is the location line. There's a couple new options, the exterior support and the exterior support right so right and left those are new so this defines where your location line is of the individual components and you can switch on the fly you can switch from right to left to center to so exterior is the extreme outside which is the exterior of the support then the line separating that from the stair is called the run left then we have the center then we have the run right and then we have the extreme outside of the support uh, right side. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to go along here, so I'm going to say exterior support left, and it's remembering my last offset. I'm going to just set this to be zero. The run with one meter, that's fine. Automatically create the landing. Okay, that's important because what it's going to do is as you draw, it's going to attempt to join up your different runs. So you can draw a run, you can stop, you can edit that and play with it and and work on it. Then you can draw another run and it'll automatically create that or you can draw the landing separately. So we can start by clicking on here and moving across. We should always of course glance down to uh, what stair type we're using. This is our stair type and we have our type selector in there and then we can go in here and look at some of the great properties. Stair is going from level 1 to level 2. It's it's uh, taking a, an attempt to say based on the information you should have you know 23. It's populating that actual riser height is you know working with our maximum height we'll talk about all those great details in the next few lessons so we would want to check over here on you know defining the actual properties of the stair as well as our options bar so there's a lot going on in here and then finally we can start to draw so I'm going to pick on here and start to draw as I go across 
Okay, we sh I should also point out there's some railing settings over here where you can define what type of railing you have. So, And you can use your shift key as you drag. So you're dragging along. And then I can stop at some point and click on here. And then I'm done. Now I can just hit escape right now. Escape, escape. And I can sit now and I can play with this guy if I want. Okay. If I start to draw again, and I can you'll see the different nice location lines along here I can take that and I can go over here now remember I'm going with my exterior support left this is a plan offset if you want it to sit inside or outside of that pick point you can change this and I notice that if I use 25 it goes into the wall so I had to set it to be minus 25 so we're gonna just hover over here pick and start to draw and as you start to draw of course you can use your shift key to keep it nice and straight Okay, because I have my automatic landing on, I can stop there. And now I can, now maybe I want to switch my location line here to be exterior support. Um, let's see, this is the left. Now what if I change it to be right? Okay, I want it to be exterior support right. Now I can hover over here, okay, and then pick and then start to drag. Okay, and if I go beyond the, the amount of risers, I need it'll just kind of stop okay based on the criteria over here so I'll use my shift key to keep it straight and then just pick out there and it automatically adds those landings in so until I hit finish the stair isn't really done and if I look at this in a 3d view it shows me the stair once I'm done it's going to actually add the railing in there so while I'm in here I can hit this and hit my railing option I can pick a different railing type okay default is the last um, railing that you drew manually so it'll it'll there's one initially but if you just draw manual railing that becomes your current or default railing that's an old tip from way back position it on the treads or on the stringer okay and and of course you don't know when actually when it says default you don't know what type of railing it is it's going to go with the last one you so i'm probably going to just select one so i have a little bit more control over it and I want it on the treads. Um, no, I'm going to put it on the stringers and hit OK. Okay. And now I can flip the stair as well, and it'll use those same vertical plumb points if I happen to go in the wrong direction, which is really nice. Okay. And individually, you can pick on here and pick on this guy and go in and hit Edit Type, and you can see different properties. So as you're working through this, I'll type SD on the keyboard here maybe see it a bit better is you've got the stringer here with properties you've got the stair itself with certain properties which you can look at over here you've got this guy you've got the landing and there's all, there's a lot more control over these supports when you go in and hit the edit button over here okay you don't see the railing until you complete it so we have to say finish and it'll add that stair in and then it'll put in the um put in the railing for us and put it where we specified on the stringer you can specify open or close stringers okay now that stair is done so it it's it behaves as one object you can pick on the railing itself and go in and edit the path okay or you can hit reset if you've changed it and you want to reset it but um, when once you start editing it it doesn't follow the the stair itself it's better to leave the railing to just more or less follow the stair so if I pick anywhere on the stair I can actually see I can tab and pick just that one component from outside of here okay tab pick okay edit type and I can actually change properties of that and it'll propagate out or I can just pick the whole stair right here and say edit the stair and now I'm back into that sketch mode where I have this component this component this component and this and this and each one now is addressed a little bit differently okay you're, you you'll get different properties when you pick on here and hit edit type as opposed to when you are finished and you pick on the stair and you say edit type okay actually that one might be the same it really depends on on the type which component you pick and then after you go in here you can edit this so you can pick on here and let's do this from a plan view you're going to get more options so if you pick on here and you say edit stairs 
first of all it's going to tell you where your risers are it gives you a count which is nice and as you click on here you're going to see wonderful new grip so if I pick on there and I grab this grip okay and pull it out okay it'll it'll allow me to do that okay that's actually not a very good type of stair but in the meantime I can pick on this guy and I um, would like to see more grips on there that's what I'm expecting pick on this guy and no and that's very interesting I noticed that that this one run no longer has the endpoint grips and I'm wondering if it's because of this condition while I'm playing around with it here on the fly uh, let's do an exit on this save changes no okay and exit you have chosen yes okay let's go back and try this again pick on here edit the stair oh I see yeah that that's right this one isn't going to give me the options that these are because these are at the top and the bottom that makes perfect sense because these these uh, risers are more or less restricted so let's just have a look at that again you'll notice that this has different grips on the ends this one doesn't okay I've just notice this on the fly here um, and this one does which makes sense because watch if I click on here there's two different grips on here run and then there's this one which is drag the end run if I grab this and pull it okay it's going to allow me to add just more steps so that's really going up beyond the level point you'll notice over here it says there's 28 uh, risers and I should only have 23 so if I pick down here I can probably pull this back down and click out and I've still got two more so I'll just bring this guy back okay so the difference is if you pick on here I'm back to my normal numbers okay if you pick on here and you grab the triangular one and you pull it watch what it does over here okay it tries to retain that number 23 so there's a difference in in the grips when you pick on there okay now if you pick on here you can grab pull this guy out it's going to automatically add the landing inside of there um, if you pick on here you can edit this it's not really recommended okay but you can and it's going to pull that with it okay you can always go in here and use your align tool and say align this to this align that back in probably don't want to lock it escape escape now if I pick on here um, yeah I just wanted to check some properties so while you're in the stair tool you can use these nice new grips and you can deal with these guys on in individually with properties and stuff and you can combine different ways um, create a sketch okay this one's an interesting one we'll try that one as well as we get into it so this is just a little bit of an overview of the uh, the stairs as they are in 2013 and 2014 you won't see the grips here in 3d you've got to go to either a level one or a level two to do that and then it it doesn't show the railing of course until you're finished and then we hit finish and it adds the railing and because we haven't individually edited the railing outside of the stair the railing just come kind of comes back and adapts to those changes for you okay so just a little bit of an opening lesson on uh, Revit 2013-2014 stair by component <laughs>